Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're looking at a major update to Google Drive that's going to help you in the coming school year. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the update I'm talking about is the priority page and workspaces. Back in March, Google announced that they'd be rolling out the priority page and workspaces. Now, ready for the new school year, it is rolling out to all other G Suite accounts. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, it means you have two new ways of working with your files and finding your files. Now, as you will see on the left hand side, we now have an extra button which says priority. Go ahead and click on that. And then you will see there are two sides to this new page. At the top, we have our priority. This is where Google Drive will suggest files to open that you've been working in or you've regularly opened at a certain time or even throughout the day. This is great when you're working on a file before school, go off to teach a couple of classes and then later you'd like to have access to that file again. Well, there's a very good chance that it'll show up in your priority at the top. If there's a file you've opened up for five, six, seven days in a row, well, good chance it's up there, but it's unpredictable. And the priority side of this is still very much the AI driving everything. Now, there are a number of things we can do with these files and you will see you can either click on open to open one such file or you click on those three dots. And when you click on those three dots, there's a number of different options there. Now the two options in this menu I'd like you to have a look at is add to workspace and show file location. Now the show file location will show you exactly where on your Google Drive this file is. Now this is useful when you've got files you've worked with and you just can't remember where they are. The other one, add to workspace, will allow you to add it to a workspace. And the workspace, well, that's the part at the bottom of this new priority page. Workspaces are areas that you can create where you add multiple files from different locations and they are right there in a easy to use, easy to find location. It's almost like a completely different way of working with files and folders. This means that you can have files in multiple folders or even files shared with you and you can have them all in a single workspace. This is great for when you're planning things. Let's say you're planning a certain subject or you're planning a conference or you've got a special upcoming inspection. Well, you can add all the files you'll need for that special activity into a single workspace. That workspace then gives you access to all the files you need. Now, in order to create a workspace, what you can do is you can scroll down to that second half of the priority page and we're going to click on create a workspace. First things first, you're going to have to title your workspace. Now I'm going to prepare a workspace for the upcoming Bangkok Summit with Epsifan, so I'm going to type a BKK Summit 19. This will give me my first workspace. And I now have a new option. I can now select files to be added into this workspace. Now you can see at the top there is a 25 file limit. Hopefully at some point in the future this limit will be either raised or completely removed. But at this moment, 25 files works really well. Now, this is again with education in mind. 25 is a good number that usually allows you to also add one file for each of your students in the class. If this is not enough, then you always have the option of creating two separate workspaces and making sure that all your files are in these. Now, personally, I do like this limit because it helps me to really pick and choose the files I want to add to a workspace. Let's say that I have 50, 60, 70 files, well then I might not find workspaces as useful as they can be. Now as you're adding files, you'll see that the sidebar opens up and it allows you to find the files on your Google Drive, shared spaces, etc. Go ahead and add a number of files. Once you've done that, you can now insert that file. And there you go, you have your first workspace. When you look at the bottom now, you'll see a nice tile and this is your first workspace. You will see multiple tiles for multiple workspaces. You can add another workspace or you can go to your previously created workspace and make some edits. You can either hover over a file in your workspace, click on the three dots and see a menu for that file. But if you want to see the workspace menu, well then you have to go to the title of your workspace or the name and click on that drop down arrow. This gives you three options. These options are to remove a workspace. Now don't worry, it doesn't remove the files. You can also rename your workspace or you can hide it. Now hiding the workspace moves it to the bottom. Now that means that you can have 20 workspaces, hide all the ones you don't need at this moment and then just resurface them later on. Great when you're teaching multiple subjects or year groups. And that's it for the priority page. Now I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in that comment section below how you will be using the priority page and workspaces. I for one am very excited about this update. I can't wait to start using it in the upcoming school year and I hope that you will do the same. 
say. My name is Seti, this was another flipped classroom tutorial. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified of new videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.